just got a little bit on those and um, thousands of ways of applying watercolour to paper. So uh, what I generally do is wet the paper but just with a little bit of colour as well. So there's just a little tiny bit of um, maple yellow in there. And what I've got to be careful of is that I don't wet the areas where the building's white. Oh, I forgot to mention kitchen roll is very useful. Paper. I'm going to go in with a little bit more, slightly stronger colour, a bit more Naples yellow. Right there at the top. And now cobalt blue. Yellow doesn't make very good greens. It's gone slightly green, but um, it wouldn't go as green as if I'd use something like lemon yellow. Well, you see, if this was me painting at this point, I would think I'd ruined my painting. Yeah, I think that at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you just have to bugger on. You know, I, I'd be throwing that away thinking, oh, all the paint's run, that's hopeless, and I'd take yeah. time in the bin by now. You're quite normal, that's what most people think. Can you just use some French ultramarine now? If I did, it wasn't intentional. Um, I've oh, the, the reason that sorry, yes, the reason this looks different, I'll put a little bit of my quinacridone uh, red orange in there. So I, I'm I'm sort of putting a bit of temperature into the lower part of the sky. The other thing people tend to do when they paint watercolours is paint down to something and then carefully paint round things. You don't have to paint around everything in the paintings. These chimneys, for example, will be darker anyway, so I don't have to very carefully paint around them, only where I think there's going to be white paper for the white of the building. I've also got to maintain the flow, so I've got to keep working backwards and forwards around the painting so that I don't get areas that are drying on me. Again, the foliage is going to be mostly green, and green is blue and yellow, so it doesn't matter if I bring blue down into the foliage areas. You notice how carefully I'm referring to the photograph? Yeah. yeah. Very important. larger tree just behind the lighthouse but these are slightly more distant trees so I'm tree up just with the tip of the brush and I generally with with trees I work from the top downwards um, so I'm using gravity to help me uh, because this is going to keep the liquid paint flowing downwards into the tree if it was working uphill it's like trying to push water uphill
earlier, John, about how many patients did you put on active study in your group? Thank you.